usually guys uh, when i review things you know i try to highlight the positive things sometimes we talk about the negative things but for the most part we try to say you know why you should get whatever i'm reviewing you know well today's video is going to be a little bit different and today i'm going to tell you why you should absolutely not buy this computer there is really well, there are, there are a few positive things, but for the most part, the video is to tell you why you absolutely do not buy this computer. So let's go ahead and take a look. This is the uh, Asus Tai Chi T300, a really nice uh, looking tablet, but don't buy it. So let's go ahead and take a look. So before I tell you guys uh, why you shouldn't buy this computer, let's uh, take a look at the computer outside. We have to be honest. I have to be honest with you guys. Uh, this is super nice looking, beautiful computer. A uh, really thin profile. We see the uh, Asus uh, logo right there on the top in a silver color. There's also a silver color that goes uh, all the way around the tablet. So it looks super nice. It makes a nice contrast with the uh, dark gray color of the tablet. Uh, right here on this side we see one stereo speaker and we have another speaker on the other side of the computer uh, right here on this side this is uh, i believe it's a usb hdmi uh, combo and there is a micro hdmi port right there and there is an audio slash microphone port right here uh, on the other side there is the uh, port to charge the tablet i believe that's a windows a uh, button right there and this is the uh, volume button right here and then right here on the top of the tablet we see the uh, power button and there is an led indicator right there when you turn on the tablet uh, looking at the bottom we see four rubber feet for the keyboard this is how the uh, tablet looks like uh, by itself so as you guys can see really really thin and there is the uh, magnetic connection this tablet connects to the keyboard uh, with this uh, magnetic mechanism, there's nothing uh, that transfers or connects uh, electronically the tablet with the keyboard. It's just magnetic. So that's a look at the tablet. Let's take a look at the keyboard now. All right, my friends, I'll take a look at the keyboard right there. Uh, the keys are pretty good size. Um, the mouse or the uh, trackpad for the mouse is extremely, extremely small. I mean, it's way, way, way too small. So that's a big critic that I have right there for the uh, trackpad. Uh, right here on the top of the uh, keyboard, we see a switch on and off. Uh, basically, that's a Bluetooth uh, switch and a battery indicator. This uh, keyboard connects to the tablet via Bluetooth. And as I said before, uh, there's nothing electronically right here connecting from the uh, keyboard to the tablet. There's just this uh, mechanism right here that connects with this uh, magnet that we have on the other side of the tablet, the bottom part of the tablet. And there is a the back for the bottom part of the keyboard. Hi right, guys, so here is the uh, tablet and the keyboard separated. And as you guys can see, uh, they are both really thin. Uh, so basically we just uh, connect the uh, tablet with the keyboard uh, like this. And there it is how the tablet looks like connected with the keyboard. Now that's as far as it goes. It doesn't go any farther than that. But I have to say it feels really solid once uh, both are connected. Even though it's a uh, magnetic, uh, if it stays there like really, really solid. Take a look at that. I'm putting my hand there just to be safe, but it won't come out. So you really have to put some effort there. Uh, in order to separate the tablet from the keyboard. All right, let's go ahead and turn this on and take a closer look now. All right, so this tablet is supposed to be light, not heavy. Oh my God, guys, it's freaking heavy. I think it's the uh, hinge uh, mechanism with the magnetic that connects uh, the tablet to the keyboard. Uh, it feels heavy. This thing is like 3.5 pounds or something like that for a 12.5 inch screen. Okay, my friends, so the computer is on right now. We're looking at the desktop. Uh, I have to admit, you know, the display looks uh, absolutely beautiful. That's actually a 4K, 4K wallpaper. Uh, but the display of this computer is at 1080p, which is beautiful. Uh, no complaints with that. 
Uh, the issue that I have with this computer and the, the main reason why I'm saying do not buy it, do not even waste your time or your money, there is a known issue and it's all over the internet uh, with the uh, keyboard not connecting to the tablet via Bluetooth. And I'm gonna show you right away, so we're gonna get into that right away. So the way you connect the keyboard, basically, you're gonna put them together like this. First, you have to make sure that the tablet and the keyboard are charged. They offer some uh, dongle uh, connector or whatever. I'm not gonna even show you that right now because you don't even have to use it. You can just connect your cell phone charger right here to the side of a tablet. It offers the same connection as you guys can see right there, uh, USB port. So, um, but basically you charge the keyboard, you charge the tablet. So once they are charged, you go into the settings here, uh, click right here on uh, devices, uh, Bluetooth, uh, so Bluetooth is off right now, I'm gonna turn it on. And then you move the switch right here that is on the keyboard all the way to the right until you see the blue light flashing. So there is a light flashing and we should see the name of the keyboard here anytime. There's a light flashing right now. So not only sometimes it takes a while to find the, uh, the device, but it's uh, having issues with connecting. So there it is, it's showing right now the name. I don't know if you guys can see it or read it. Asus uh, T300 Qi docking, ready to pair. So what happens is uh, we click right here, click on pair. It should be connecting right away. So you get this message that says uh, enter the passcode for your keyboard. There is no passcode. There is no passcode. Uh, I tried and I did a search, believe me, I spent like, you know, maybe an hour researching all over, in, all over the internet, different forums and all that, people complaining and looking for uh, solutions. You know, so people say try uh, four times zero, try eight times the, 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 the number zero. Uh, it doesn't work. Uh, there's no passcode, the computer is supposed to provide you. You're supposed to see a message that pops up and show you the, the password or the passcode. It's not happening. So therefore, I cannot use the keyboard. So right now, the keyboard is useless. It's a known issue. As a matter of fact, I actually went to Best Buy, and as soon as I walked to be in the uh, Best Buy, I went to the uh, Geek Squad uh, area. Uh, the guys right there said, oh yeah, the um, Asus uh, T300, yeah, the issues with the keyboard were aware. So right away, I, did, I didn't even have to spend time explaining or anything. They offered me to replace it for something else or give me the money back. Now, that's as far as the keyboard. Uh, I have to say everything else is super nice. Uh, display is super nice at 1080p. The tablet, it's a really thin, really good looking. It feels premium, feels really, really good quality with the uh, metallic finish. Performance, oh my God, right there. The performance is right there. It comes with the uh, M5 processor, Intel M5 processor, four gig of RAM. I believe it's a uh, 128 solid state drive. Uh, good graphics, battery life on this guy, it's about eight hours. But it feels heavy, it feels heavy. And take a look at when I hold it from the corner. I don't know if you guys can see this part right here, it's a uh, bending from the weight that it has in the back, that hinge mechanism uh, with the magnetic, oh my God, it makes it so heavy. And it's so sad that something 12.5 inches uh, feels that heavy. So let's go ahead and open some, uh, do some browsing here, opening different things so you guys can see the performance. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open, for example, right here. And again, this is all gonna have to be with the uh, manual keyboard or the touch screen. Uh, there is a CNN. And I'm using the uh, Explorer that comes with the computer, Windows 10. So it opens uh, pages uh, pretty quick. Uh, browsing, it's uh, you know really fast. Uh, I don't have an issue or complain with that. I don't have an issue with the performance at all. It's actually really good. Uh, zoom in and zoom out, super nice. Easy, responsive. Uh, the text looks uh, really clear because of the uh, 1080p display. 
Uh, let's go ahead and open another page right here. And uh, let's try to go to uh, this uh, news right there. So browsing is pretty good. That's not an issue. Obviously, you know, the uh, speed is gonna depend a lot on the uh, internet that you have. And for some reason, I don't know why right now my internet is kind of like slow. Uh, it was flying yesterday, opening things are really quick. But, you know, I hope you trust me. I'm telling you right now, the, the browsing experience super good on the tablet. So, okay, so that's as far as that. I wanna show you guys uh, a performance uh, benchmark test uh, because it scores pretty good. I wanna close here the uh, Explorer just to make sure that that doesn't affect uh, the performance. So here it is. Uh, we're looking at Nova Bench. Uh, Nova Bench, it's a, a you know really nice uh, benchmarking test software. It's free. Now take a look in the meantime, guys, at this other computer that I have here. Uh, this is the Asus uh, ZenBook um, UX. 305CA. Uh, this thing is beautiful, beautiful, super light. It's only 2.4 pounds. Uh, this is a 13.3 inch. And I did a test yesterday uh, between these two. And probably I'm gonna try to do a comparison review later. Uh, we almost have the results. But you know what? This one comes with the M5 processor. This one comes with the M3. So in theory, or I should say, you know, in reality, not theory, <laughs> the M5 is supposed to be faster. It is faster than the M3. But the score, the scores on this machine were higher than this one. The reason why, because on this one I had eight gig of RAM versus on this one we have four. So uh, the score that I got right now here, it's uh, 511. Uh, just to give you guys an idea, uh, I tested it, uh, this machine, the other day against my friend's uh, Mac Pro uh, iCore 7. And the score on the iCore 7 uh, was about 580 or 590, something like that. This is 511. And this one right here was about 540 or something like that. So not much, uh, you know, far from the uh, i7 on the Mac Pro. So that's there right there, the uh, Nova Bench score 511. That's a very respectable score, considering that this is an M5 four gig of RAM. Uh, so that's that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open a few things uh, just quick, but keep in mind, you know, everything I have to do it with the uh, finger right now, because, you know, the keyboard is not working. Uh, so bear with me. I'm gonna try to open here, for example, uh, pictures. Uh, there might be some pictures here, maybe I can open. Uh, so it opens, things are pretty quick. Uh, no complaint with that, take a look at that old picture of me. I have done so many reviews, it's ridiculous. So uh, there's the iPad that I reviewed like two years ago. But it opens things are pretty quick. The main issue, like I said, guys, uh, it's the uh, issue with the uh, Bluetooth keyboard. Uh, price on this machine, guys, uh, I think it started about a little below $600. Uh, it's going on sale right now, and no wonder why, because a lot of people are returning this out. Uh, but it's going on sale for about $450. Uh, so the solution for that issue with the keyboard is you know, reset the computer um, or basically return it and get something else or send the computer back to Asus and you're gonna be without a computer for a long time and you're probably gonna end up getting something different. Okay? So here's a look at uh, YouTube guys and I'm gonna go ahead and open some videos in high definition. Uh, also have the uh, speaker or the volume all the way up. Uh, the speakers are actually pretty decent so Let's go ahead and open a video here. So as you guys can see, it opened the video right away. There it is, uh, playing the video in high definition now. Uh, the speaker, like I said, the volume is all the way up. The speakers are located on the bottom of the computer. Actually right here. No, I take that back. Uh, the speakers are actually right here on the side of the tablet. I'm sorry. 
So as you guys can see, the picture looks uh, really, really nice uh, because of the uh, uh, 1080p display. There is a full screen. So it looks uh, really, really nice. Audio is pretty decent. It sounds super loud, but it's clear and it sounds good. All right, my friends, uh, that's all I have for right now. Again, this is the uh, Asus Transformer Book Chi or Key or whatever you want to call it, T300. Uh, um, good performance. Uh, you can even get this in uh, Eggy or RAM, so it's going to be even faster. Uh, Thin profile, nice looking design. The tablet feels actually really heavy really heavy for a 12.5 inch screen size and there is an issue with the bluetooth keyboard so i will not recommend this tablet for anybody because you're gonna end up returning the tablet or getting something else or stuck with a tablet that it's gonna give you issues all the time with the keyboard so there you have it my friends i will see you later peace out